What's up team, this is Coach Abraham checking in with Armless Strength and Conditioning. For today's video, something that has been highly requested, a body weight only, lower body strength and power routine. I chose a couple from some of the best body weight exercises I could think of so you can still continue to take your strength and power to that next level so this can continue supplementing your game. So without further ado guys, let's just get straight into the video. Yeah, top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant. Woke up early from shots that was swarming a black First things first, I laid it out for you. Thermo and the warm up is gonna take between 10 to 15 minutes. Plyometrics is only gonna take eight to 10 minutes. The strength portion is gonna take 30 to 35 minutes. Let's begin with the thermo. Thermo means like thermogenic, so that warm up. These are gonna be the jogs. I have four types of jogs. We're gonna jog down and back, forward, and then back pedal back. Then we're gonna go on to some shuffles. After that, we're gonna go on to some karaoke's and check this out. We can also do some double karaoke just to add a little bit of like coordination and rhythm in there. We can do each of these one or two times, warm up according to how much you need. Now we're gonna go on to the mobility aspect. We're gonna begin with the world's greatest stretch with a hamstring stretch. I'm sure you guys have seen this one a lot in my videos. I love it. That's why it's called the world's greatest stretch. We're gonna go nice and deep into that, open up to where we are facing our knee, we're gonna get a good hammy stretch. From there, instead of standing up, we're gonna continue to crawl forward just like we're Spider-Man. Keep those hips as low as possible to the floor, keep the knee off the floor as well, and keep doing that for the prescribed reps. Then we're gonna go on to lateral lunges, another one that you have seen. I love exercises and mobility drills that are actually exposing us to these deep angles that a lot of footballers can't do. Most of these, these are the ones I have found that footballers have a lot of hard time doing, or maybe they're just more difficult or they feel it the best. So again, lateral lunges. I want you to go nice and deep into that. I wanna see that low go off your shirt the whole time. Do not let that heel come up. Go as low as you can go, All right? Some of y'all and most of y'all will not be able to go as low as me. Go as low as you can go from there. Don't stand up, shift over to the other side. Then we're gonna go on to the Bretzel 1.0, another one that you guys constantly see. One of my favorite exercises, let's make our reps with really everything. We wanna make sure that we're breathing in through our nose and exhaling on the way out nice and slow. That's gonna allow the muscles to relax and stretch more. And we're gonna go on to the movement prep. We're gonna go uh, hops in four direction, five yards each side. We can do this one twice around going forwards, lateral, medial. So again, get a couple reps within that five yard range. Do not let the heel touch the floor. Again, a great exercise to get the ankles primed and already start getting some like specific functional strength in that ankle. Next up, we're gonna go on to pop float skips, getting a little bit more specific to what we're about to do. So uh, because we do have like broad jumps and split jumps, I wanna make sure that the body is primed. Pop float skips, also known as A skips, I believe. We're gonna go 15 yards. After that, we're gonna go on to some high skips. Upon landing after the jump, you wanna come back up and jump through the other leg. And then we're gonna go on to sprint to decelerations. We can go for 10 yards the first one, slow it down on the decel, don't gotta go 100%. Then we can do that for maybe two reps. So again, guys, repeat as needed. That's why I put 10 to 15 minutes. Again, that's gonna depend up to you. Up next, we're gonna go on to our plyometrics. And yes, guys, eight to 10 minutes, that's all you need. In between sets, rest 30 seconds. We're gonna begin with some broad jumps, start in that none kind of movement position, which means that lower position already loaded, explode out as far as possible. If it helps to allow you to get more distance, put a cone whenever you land, reset back wherever you jumped from at first, and then try to beat that or at least get to it every single time. That's gonna ensure that you're getting the most power and the most out of this exercise. Next up, we're gonna go on to split jumps and the reason you see me put my hands on my hips, I just don't wanna use any other momentum, right? I wanna go pure lower body. If you decide to use your hands, I mean, look, it's all good, right? We're gonna go four for each side and two sets. Next, we're gonna go on to some lateral bounds to stick. So on this one, working more on that frontal plane, so that lateral aspect. These are exercises that are great for changing direction, but we're emphasizing more of that stability aspect. It's a great exercise, one of my favorite ones to include. We're gonna go finally into the strength block, 30 to 35 minutes for you. Maybe, maybe you'll be done in 25 minutes. It really depends on how you move through these exercises. We're gonna begin with the reverse step up. I wanna see how many of you guys can actually go all the way down, bring your knee to parallel, or even lower than parallel. This is a pretty tough exercise. If you are able to do that, and you wanna challenge yourself more, grab a backpack and hold it on to your chest, 
right? Put some books in there. That's how we can create more resistance. But if that one is too tough, maybe we just go as low as you can go and then you come back up. Again, go as low as you can go while still being able to come back up. If that one is still too tough and you wanna get that full range of motion, let's just focus on the eccentric, which means just on the way down. So once you start going down, one, two, three, four, boom, you tap, then you come back up with assistance. Next up guys, we're gonna go on to a one leg slider curl. And look, not everybody has these sliders. However, you can easily get them from Amazon if you have that available to you for very cheap or go to your hardware store and get some furniture movers. However, if you still can't do that, go to your kitchen pantry and get some paper plates. It's all about maximizing and doing what you can. We're gonna go on to a body saw. You wanna ensure we keep that back flat, not creating a big arch with our back. Keep those uh, hips nice and squeezed. Keep the core nice and squeezed. Go as far back as you can go while still being able to bring it back in. We're gonna do this for three sets, guys. Again, the reps are, are here in front of you on the screen. Next up, we're gonna go to the next block and we're gonna go on to a squat three position hold for 10 seconds on each hold. If you wanna make this a little bit tougher and you have a mini band available to you, go ahead and do so. If you do not have a mini band, all good. And same thing guys, get a backpack if you want more load into it and, and use that for extra resistance. After that, we're gonna go on to a single leg RDL, really more focusing on that hinge pattern and keeping our back straight, keeping good balance. And overall, this is a movement, a human movement that every footballer should be able to do. Again, not allowing the back to arch. I like to reach forward, but again, if needed, let's get some resistance. Once we kind of master that balance, let's get some resistance and do the same thing with that. Again, a backpack, put some heavy books in there, some rocks, whatever, right? Be creative. After that, we're gonna go on to Copenhagen ISOs. Why I included this one? For many reasons, one, we're attacking that groin area, those adductors, a very prone injury site for footballers, so we're strengthening that part. A lot of times when we have these weak areas, right? So let's say something is tight and you stretch it and it's always coming back. A lot of times that's a weakness. And for this case, let's just focus on, hey, maybe the hip flexors are weak. Maybe the groin is weak. Maybe those adductors are weak and we need to strengthen them, right? That's the only way that that tightness may go away. But sometimes a lot of times it's the posterior chain. So it's maybe the hamstrings and the core is weak as well. But as you can see in this workout, we are covering those things. So again, all money-making exercises. For this one, we wanna go two to three sets based on your time. And look guys, a lot of times some of these exercises, if they're new, they're gonna get you sore. Understand what part of the season you're in. Do you wanna expose yourself to a lot of sets mid-season probably not so you maybe want to stick with just two sets this is how we minimize soreness soreness is not something we can always avoid but it's gonna happen if you give it a new stimulus so let's be smart with it let's enter that first week as an adaptation week as a deload week if you will so you don't completely destroy your legs and then you come back to me and you're like coach this this workout is too much for me Fix it according to you guys. Next up guys, we're gonna go to our last little block and it's just a small one, a supplemental block, accessory block. We're gonna go on to a one leg lateral hop. Um, I like this one because we're actually hitting those specific angles in the ankle and we're actually getting that ankle nice and functional, right? So we're getting that functional strength, if you will. That is the second way that we can create specific strength onto our ankle and also springiness, right? Power. After that, we're gonna go on to a one leg calf raise and I want to see if you can do this while balancing if you cannot do this single leg calf raise while balancing that's something I want you to work up to but if needed use some assistance and again guys this is one way to get uh, not only ankle health strengthening that tissue up and the structure around it so all those muscles tendons and ligaments but we're throwing in some balance which is really good for footballers all right it's not everything but it's another important aspect for this one we can stick with two to three sets don't overcomplicate your training. If you're following a lot of my videos, guys, and I'm very confident that these are fantastic exercises. I, I've been doing this for a while. I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist. I have a master's degree for the ones that are new here. I train all sorts of athletes, guys, from seven years old up to the professional level. I also have a history of playing football, of playing soccer in the United States. I wasn't the best player, but hey, I was a hard worker and I did play in college as well. Lucky for you guys, you have somebody who understands the game, that mental aspect, but also now I've educated myself. I literally read every single day and give you guys, provide you guys with the best exercises based on research, based on up-to-date research. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Programs for the summer, for the off season, guys. So check them out as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.